Get ready to face your worst fears. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scariest scenes from IT Chapter 2. For this list, we're taking a look at the most frightening moments from the 2019 conclusion of Andy Muschietti's take on Stephen King's IT. Both a spoiler and a content warning are now in effect. <laughs> Number 10. Paul Bunyan and the Hypnotized Townspeople With the losers all back in Derry, they set out to find their various artifacts to complete the Ritual of Chud. As Richie looks for his, he suddenly remembers when the statue of Paul Bunyan came to life and tried to eat him. Although the statue is back to normal in the present, Pennywise is there waiting, sitting on the statue's shoulder. Play a game with me, would you? How about Street Fighter? As he taunts Richie, Pennywise draws the townspeople into the act, demonstrating just how strong his hold over Derry really is. I know your secret, your dirty little secret. It's surreal, creepy, and disturbing enough even before Pennywise charges right for him. Number 9. Fortune Cookies Rendezvousing at a Chinese restaurant, the losers discuss what to do next. I don't know how to do fortune cookies here, mine just says guess. At the end of the meal, and still not quite believing what Mike is telling them, they crack open fortune cookies. Inside, however, is a whole lot of, well, WTF. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Nightmarish creatures spill out onto the table, including a bloated insect with a wailing baby's face. Because who said nightmares have to make sense? Realizing that no one else in the restaurant can see the horrors adds another level of dread, with the losers understanding that they really are all on their own. Yeah, can we get the check? Number 8. It Comes to School The film makes great use of its amnesia premise, with the losers experiencing flashbacks that show hitherto unseen scares from the summer of 1989. Oh, easy, it's just me. After the losers fight and temporarily break up, Ben finds himself at school. Beverly comes to hang out, and for a moment, it seems that his crush on Bev isn't quite as unrequited as he thought. Oh my god! Oh, I meant as a friend. But when she taunts him for misreading the signals, he makes the horrific discovery that he hasn't been talking to Beverly at all. With her head on fire, it chases him through the halls of the school. Perhaps worse, though, is that claustrophobic scene in the locker. Kiss me, fat boy. Number 7. Pharmacy Basement Adult Eddie's search for his artifact leads him to remember an encounter with his worst fear, the leper, who also showed up in the first film. Eddie, Casper. Mm-hmm, that's me. I remember you. As boy Eddie tries to rescue his mother, who's strapped down in the pharmacy basement, the chained creature lunges forward, fingers grasping. <laughs> Panicking, Eddie abandons his mother to the monster's attacks. Disturbingly, it's never clear if this is really her or an illusion. Adult Eddie confronts the monster again in that same basement, and it's here that he figures out Pennywise's weakness and gets a face full of disgusting ichor for his troubles. Number 6. Adrian Mellon's Death Meg Ryan called. She wants her wig back. The opening scene of IT Chapter 2 shows the return of Pennywise's influence over Derry, when a gay couple is attacked on the streets. Homophobic teens beat Adrian Mellon bloody and throw him off a bridge. Adrian! His boyfriend Don tries to save him, but Pennywise gets there first and bites a huge chunk out of poor Adrian. While a ravenous killer clown under a bridge is scary enough, the real world element makes the scene so much more brutal, as the murder of Adrian was inspired by the 1984 murder of 23 year old Charlie Howard. In a film of fantasy scares, it's a chilling reminder that human monsters are very real. Number 5. Return to Kneebolt Street. When the losers first entered the well house on Kneebold Street as kids, they had no idea what to expect. Well, I love what he's done with the place. As adults, however, they know it's more than just a house of wood and stone, and it's haunted by something so much worse than a ghost. Ah! Oh, ben? 
Pennywise doesn't pull any punches this time either. Ben is sliced up by an unseen Pennywise, while the head of young Stanley does its best John Carpenter's Thing impersonation. It's Stan. The Niebold house has even more nonstop horrors than the first time around, never giving the losers or audiences a second to breathe. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Number four, claustrophobic visions. When the ritual of Chud fails, Pennywise is quick to separate the losers, plunging them into their own nightmarish visions. Ben thinks he's stuck in their old underground fort with the walls caving in, slowly burying him alive. What? Beverly, on the other hand, finds herself trapped in the bathroom stall where the girls at school used to torment her, about to drown in blood. Are you still my little girl, baby? And if she doesn't drown, the things on the other side of the door will get her. Those who suffer from claustrophobia will cringe as Ben and Bev's breathing space gets smaller and more desperate. Number three, under the bleachers. At a baseball game, little Victoria Fuller is lured away from her mother by a firefly. Drawn below the bleachers, she meets a funny looking clown. Hello, Vicky. Isn't that what your friends call you? While she's suspicious of him at first, Pennywise explains that no one wants to be his friend because of how he looks. Oh, silly old Pennywise. You'll never have no friends. People make fun of me too. The girl, who has a large birthmark on her face, understands this all too well. Of course, it's all a diabolical trick to lure her closer, right into Pennywise's clutches. I can blow that thing right away. You could? Oh, yes! One poof, and it'd be gone! <laughs> Just like poor Georgie in the first film, Victoria is taken in, and needless to say, she doesn't come back out from the bleachers. Number two, Funhouse Mirrors. Trying to save Dean, a kid who lives in his childhood home, Bill follows the boy into the funhouse at the town carnival. <laughs> Despite the dizzying shifts, he does manage to find him. Stop following me! Dean is freaked out that a grown man is following him, but soon realizes there's a bigger danger lurking nearby. <laughs> Bill tries to break the glass as Dean desperately tries to find a way out, but it's soon clear that there is no escape. Bill can only watch in horror, pleading with it to take him instead, as Pennywise begins to smash the glass and then devours the boy. You know, it's actually kind of interesting that despite how scary Stephen King's original novel was, a lot of these scenes weren't even in the source material at all. So do you think Stephen King actually wrote our number one pick, or was it a new addition for Mandy Muschietti? Let's check out some honorable mentions before we see what's at number one. <laughs> That's a good boy. That's actually super cute. That's a good boy. Hey, boy. Good boy. Come on, take my hand! <laughs> and then the leper, he threw up all over me. Hey, it's my family. Why don't you come back to Maine? It's your time, Eddie. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Mrs. Kirsch While searching for her artifact, Beverly returns to her old home. It's not for me to tell you this, but your father passed away. Estranged from her father, she's surprised to learn from the kindly old woman living there now that he's passed away. You feel free to look around while I get the water boiling. Oh, we, really, it's fine. You don't need to do that. Don't be so polite. Mrs. Kirsch invites her in for tea, but it's not long before it becomes clear that something is not right. But you know what they say about Derry? No one who dies here ever really dies. The old lady is odd, and we don't mean eccentric. When Beverly lets her guard down, she's attacked by a naked, monstrous, gigantic old lady. 
with the scene's long buildup and huge payoff. We won't be forgetting Mrs. Kirsch anytime soon. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.